In this session, we will put together the different types of SN ratio and try to explain why Takuchi insists his average quality loss after the logarithm transformation will be similar to the concept of signal over noise using in the communication system. In the nominal the best problems, he insists a satisfactory design should have the average performance at the target. Therefore, he proposed a two-stage optimizations. After the parameter design, so he assumed there will be some specific control factor, and he called it scaling factor. And this scaling factor is very special. He can affect the output mean and the standard deviation in a fixed proportional. So we can use this scaling factor, try to move the design to the target. Therefore, the mean square deviation will be changed from the original value. We want to get what is the average loss after the use of scaling factors. And here we can also understand the relationship between nominal the best average loss and the SN ratio. This is the mean square deviation for nominal the best. There, there are two parts. As I mentioned, if you can find a special scaling factor, and this factor is a special control factor, they will affect mean and the standard deviation in a proportional way. Just like the figure showing here. If this is the scaling factors, and this is the output, and the output will change according to the modification of the scaling factor. In the meantime, the standard deviation will change as well. So when you move the scaling factors, the standard deviation over mean output will stay constant. And this is the characteristics of these scaling factors. Once you use this scaling factor to move the mean output to target, Therefore, the first term of this average loss will cancel out. And the second term, the standard deviation, will change from the original value into SA. By using this relationship, we can understand the original standard deviation over mean output will be the same as the adjusted standard deviation over the new average, which is the target. So using this equation, we can understand what is the standard deviation after multiplication, which will be m over y bar multiplied by s. By substitute these numbers into the equation, we can obtain the mean square deviation after second stage multiplication. We can substitute this uh, adjusted mean square deviation into the SN ratio, which is over here. And the adjusted mean square deviation is s squared over y bar squared. By using the property of logarithms, by moving these minus signs into the logarithms, and therefore the SN ratio for nominal the best will be 10 multiplied by logarithms y bar squared over s squared. And here y bar is the average output, s squared is the variance of your samples. By look at this equation, you can understand why Takuchi advocate that his uh, average quality loss is very similar to the concept of signal over noise ratio. Since y bar is similar to the signal used in the communication, and s square is the noise that unexpected output used in the communication as well. By look at this equation, you can understand this is similar to conventional uh, SN ratio used in the uh, communication system. For smaller better case, again you can substitute MSD into the equation and get the SN ratio for smaller better case. Unfortunately, there is no uh, distinct relationship like the previous nominal the best case. But again, if you're using this as a design criteria, you can still fulfill your requirement to average output and uh, conformance requirement. And this is the SN ratio for larger the better case. Again, you substitute your mean square deviation into the logarithm transformation. 
Although Takuchi uh, advocates that we shouldn't use a fractional rate in a quality control, if in some case it is necessary to use a fractional defect rate or fractional year rate in a quality control, uh, Takuchi also proposed a similar concept of SN ratio for these two cases. Again, signal over noise ratio is something you want, which is the signal, over something you don't want, which is the noise. But look at the fractional year rate, Q. Q is something you want. So here, Q over 1 minus Q. And 1 minus Q is actually the defect rate which is something you don't want, and you can treat it as a noise. So Q over 1 minus Q is similar to the concept of signal over noise. And you can find out the similar information from fractional defect rate. So this is the SN ratio for fractional year rate and SN ratio for fractional defect rate. And this is a summary for all the cases. Larger the better, smaller the better, nominal the best, and fractional defect rate, the, all the SN ratio. And Takuchi using this SN ratio to be the quality measure in the future design. A larger SN ratio will stand for a better performance, average performance, and a better conformance. These are some examples. This is a nominal the best. When you machine a shaft, and the machine diameter of the shaft will have a nominal dimension such as 45 millimeters. And the output should be right at the target 45. Anything bigger or smaller will be not a good design. So this is a nominal the best problem. This is the average loss, and uh, you can use this data to try to calculate what is the corresponding SN ratio. Then you can determine which machine is better. I believe the result will be the same using average quality loss we introduced in the last session. This second example is the uh, optimization of a purification method for metal contaminated waste water. You want to find out what kind of uh, treatment for these waste waters will have the lowest uh, contamination. So this is the smaller the better problem. And there are eight different designs and these are samples of their performance. By substitute this number into previous equation, you can obtain the SN ratio for each design. So a better design will have a larger SN. So you can just compare this number and find out that this design has a larger SN. Therefore, this is the design you prefer. The next example is a connector using a nylon tube. You want to maximize the connecting strength, which can be measured by the pull of force. So the larger, the better. This is the case. And again, you can see there are nine different designs, and there are two samples over here. So by substitute these two samples into the previous larger, the better SN ratio, you can get these numbers. And by look at this number, you simply find out which design will have the largest SN ratio because you have a largest mean pool of strength and also the smallest standard deviation for the strength distribution. 